Hey everybody, this is Mark with MarkTWitten.com. Uh, just wanted to give you kind of a little bit of insight on how I do my mornings. And so I'm gonna come out on my porch in beautiful sunny South Florida. Uh, the weather's always good here, pretty much, unless it's raining. But uh, basically I come out here on my porch. So I got my stack of stuff here. Uh, let me just kind of give you a tour of this. And I don't really have a regimented thing that I do. I kind of just go with the flow. I found that over the years, if, if I stick to a super regimented uh, structure of my morning time, that, that it just gets stale. Uh, so what I've got is I've got a stack of journals that I use, and I do use each one of those. Let me show you how I journal real quick. Uh, so basically, this is my pocket journal. I, I keep this with me wherever I go. I got a pen and anything, any new idea or thought or inspiration, quote from a movie, a book I wanna read, something, that all goes in here. And so basically, I'll take this book in the morning time and I will transfer it into one of these two, two books. So this would be my journal, uh, where I keep all my thoughts and you know quotes and drawings and things like that and so I'll take this and then and then I'll cross it out once once I've put it into my journal or my log book so this is my log book which basically has a daily log of the things that I do uh, just as a, as a memory I'll usually put the date in the corner up here and then like what we did so this is, you know, I went to Knoxville the other day and walked around the World's Fair Park, went to the Art Museum, um, toured UT's campus, etc. And then, um, you know, Chick-fil-A, uh, took a plane ride home, you know, stuff like that. And then usually uh, on the other page, I'll do like a, my to-do list. So I'll go through that. Usually I have a couple of core items that I focus on. The other things are what I call FTA or feed the animals, just basic things that need to be done that day, whether it's grocery shopping or, or bills or taking care of something. And that helps me get organized and it also creates kind of a log for the important things that I've done that day, just so I can reference those if I need to go back and, and kind of get a, get a picture of what I've done. So. Again, pocketbook, this is the one I take with me everywhere. I usually transfer the pocket notes into the journal or the daily log so that they're recorded. Then, usually after I spend some time journaling or maybe I'll you know, do journaling last, I'll pick up my voice translation of the Bible and it's got a really cool reading plan. You don't try to cram it all in in one day or one year. And it's got a really good plan in the back that I've been following. It takes you through the scripture in three years. Uh, so right now I'm on week 34 and I just put a little check mark uh, by the ones I've read. Sometimes I don't read them every day, uh, but they're broken up in a way that I can catch up if I need to. Like last week I just totally blew it and uh, miss a, an entire week of reading, but I was able in a couple days just to get caught up and it was no big deal. So that's kind of what I do. Sit on my porch, I think, I form my thoughts, I look out into God's beautiful creation, uh, get my day ready with the Word, renewing my mind. And then after I've journaled, looked at the Word, I'll pick up a great book and I'll start reading just to get some inspiration. By the way, this is my new book, Sea Lions in the Desert. If you want a copy, uh, follow the link in the description of this video. And it's available at Amazon. You can get an ebook reader or a paperback copy, which is this. And uh, I'm really proud of this book. Called Sea Lions in the Desert Why Christians Fail to Prosper and How Identity, Priority, and Character Are Keys to Accessing Heaven's Treasury. So, anyway, have a great day. Love you.